Right here we got a 1998 Mazda 626 2.0 engine and uh, we got a hole in the block. I'm going to show you how to change this block and salvage the head. We have some bent valves because the valves, two of the valves hit the piston that broke off the connecting rod in here. I'm going to show you how to fix that or salvage it. I'm going to show you how to salvage that. Put this head on a whole new block, okay? A short block. So, check out this side. And on this side over here, okay, and on this side over here, we have two more holes, okay? That's some serious damage. I can see right now on the crankshaft, show right here. I can see right here on the crankshaft, we got some damage, all right? Might be salvageable still, but I'm looking inside here, but we'll see, okay? We got a serious problem here, so let's take it apart and figure it out. Let's see what we got here. Let's go handle it. This block here threw a rod and busted a hole through here, here, busted a hole here. Look at that. There's a connecting rod, uh, there's a rod bearing cap right there. There's a bearing right here. Let me see if I can grab it. Right there. Look at that. That is some serious damage right there. This is a bearing right here. This is the connecting rod bearing. Tore up. All right, so go back down in there. See if you can see in there. Look at that, that's damage right there. All right, so let's go back over here. Down here, shoot down here. There we go right there. Some more damage in there, some more in there. That's it right there. So let's go fix this cylinder head, right? The block is no good. We're not using this at all, okay? But we are gonna use this over here. We are gonna use the cylinder head, all right? So we're good to go on the cylinder head. We have two bent valves, all right? And cylinder uh, number four. Yeah, cylinder number four, which is this one here. The two intake valves bent, and I'm gonna show you that in a little bit, all right? And I'm gonna show you how to salvage this. Good thing, no more damage than those bent valves occurred. All right, but everything is all good. Okay, this is it. We got the broken block with the hole in it at the house. We found this block here. So what we're doing is we're taking it down. All right, we're taking everything apart. And then we're gonna take this home. We're gonna take it to uh, inspect it. And then uh, good to go. We're gonna buy the warranty just in case, all right? So make sure you buy the warranty always. Bring your tools, get everything set up. The first thing you want to do when you're checking the engine at the junkyard is this. You want to check to make sure the engine spins, okay? Then you go up on top and you make sure that everything can move and looks good. You want to make sure everything looks good. You want to make sure those cylinders aren't scuffed up. They don't have any vertical marks or anything. We got a little bit on a cylinder number three or two. Uh, not so bad. It's not bad at all though. We got some in one also, but not a big deal. Anyway, that's what you want to do, all right? Check to make sure that everything spins. The reason why I chose this engine right here is because somebody had did some work to it. You can tell that they, uh, they deglazed the uh, cylinders and the cylinders have the, uh, the cross hatch in there, okay? When you, uh, I'm gonna show you later. When you, when you uh, hone an engine, not hone, this, this, is, this is not honing. When you deglaze an engine with the deglazer, you're gonna see that, okay? So make sure you check to see if the operation of the engine moves, okay? Make sure there's no clicking and clacking or anything, all right? So that's, that's what you do first. So we're going to take everything apart, bring the block down, and then get it to the house. Okay. Now pull it out. Here you go. Got it rigged up. The homemade pulley system. Done deal right there. And that's how you get your engine down. That's girl power right there. Using a homemade winch system with the seatbelt. Handled it. Now, here we go. 
they're here. Now let's get it home. 